<laughs> okay. Um, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a tea with Lee. Uh, Today, with great honor and pleasure, we are having Marisa from the United States to share us her story on her great work, uh, which is Yuchi. So Yuchi is yoga plus Qigong. Marisa excellently united yoga and Qigong together. And now, please, Marisa, you are on the stage to share with us how and why you created Yuchi. How and why? Well, I actually started my journey with meditation. So I didn't start with yoga or Qigong at all. Um, I was interested in energy and interested in Buddhism mostly and anything that was like cultivating meditation, the mind. And so I went to Asia to study when I was very young. When I turned 18, I left America and I went to Japan and India and then wound up in China. So China is where I discovered Qigong, but I started with meditation and then Qigong and Tai Chi, Tuan, and then I went to Thailand and learned yoga and India as well. So my practice was based in, in a foundation of awareness, right, of mind, mindfulness and movement. And when I became a yoga teacher, I didn't stop my Qigong practice because I already had some Qigong practice and I wanted to do everything in my morning, right? I wanted to do some yoga, meditation, Qigong. So I put it together and I started to teach at meditation retreats with mindful movement, like very slow with the breath and people loved it. And it helped them a lot for their meditation to be more comfortable when they're sitting, to feel more balanced. And, um, and then from there, it just, just grew. So I started to make the videos on YouTube. And uh, this is what really made Yochi, I think, so popular because at that time, there wasn't that many very good videos with production, with, with the good instruction, the clear instruction, and the beautiful background, and the, the clothing, the presentation. And so I wanted to put this together. I have a fashion background as well. So I wanted to make something beautiful because I believe that when we see a beautiful harmony, this also is good for our chi and good for our spirit. So this is finally what your chi is all about. Yeah. Okay, cool. And it's such a wonderful story that uh, somehow it's like uh, your chi is following and leading where you are right now, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, so you you mentioned that, that you have a fashion background. You also created your own brand for the uniform, right? How yeah. you make it together? So what is the idea behind behind your your uniform uh, for for Yuchi? Yeah. So traditional Qigong clothing is usually kind of like the Chinese silk, very flowy. And then there's yoga clothes, which are so popular, but yoga clothes are very tight. And so I combined the two because I like to have the fitted shirt. So because I'm a woman, so it's very helpful to feel secure and I can move and do everything and then have the, the loose pants. So the pant is also has the waistband around the dantian. So it's covering the navel and the dantian to keep us warm and to keep the mingmen warm in the back as well. So my belly is still warm and the pant is cotton. It's, mm -hmm. it's natural fabric, not synthetic, and it's loose so the chi can flow. So it's very comfortable to wear this to do the practice and looks good too. <laughs> okay, sure. And also that you use it to study in China. So uh, where you have been practice or uh, study and uh, what was your uh, concentration on or your major? Uh, I was a student at Zhejiang Dashui, which is in Hangzhou, right? Mm -hmm. And it was through Long Island University in, in America. So it was mm -hmm. a, a program, but we were brought in and we 
actually stayed on the, we had dorms with the students, international students, and we stayed on campus for a year. Mm -hmm. And I studied for for shui, like for jiao, uh, mm -hmm. Buddhist studies mm -hmm. and uh, Chinese, some Chinese language. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, and that's where we, we learned Qigong was, at school on the, the the field there was a qigong teacher and taiji mm -hmm. teacher mm -hmm. and then later after i graduated i went back to china many times and i went to yangshuo mm -hmm. uh, in guilin and very beautiful place mm -hmm. and has many taiji chen style training areas and um qigong as well mm -hmm. so you mentioned that you practiced uh, buddhism for jiao right so what do you like? Yeah. Uh, why do you choose Buddhism as your direction of research? And the, and and uh, which quote or which word the you like uh, the best uh, in Buddhism? Well, I co actually come three traditions in my thesis. I compared like Japanese Zen, mm -hmm. uh, Chinese. Chan, but mm -hmm. Pure Land is mixed together with Chan in China. Mm -hmm. And then uh, like a, well, in, in how do you say, Nei Guan in China. Nei Guan, Chinese, yes, Vipassana. exactly. Inner yeah. inspection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nei Guan mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. a Vipassana in yeah. Thailand. Yeah. So these very three different traditions. And I was interested specifically in meditation and how the nuns and monks use the practice to achieve the goal and how they live different and practice different, but all want to achieve the same goal or is it mm -hmm. a different goal? And I found out, of course, it's the same goal, nirvana mm -hmm. um, and release from suffering. Mm -hmm. And they follow the, the triple gem, like mm -hmm. any Buddhist from any country is the same. Mm -hmm. Just the lifestyle is a bit different and so at the core, I was really looking for what is the core essence of the practice, but it all mm -hmm. comes down to purifying the mind mm -hmm. and the heart. Mm -hmm. So for me, this is still the most important part of a Qigong practice, a yoga practice, any practice is to, to purify the mind and clear of impurities of negative thought, mm -hmm. of toxicity and become calm and have a calm spirit. Yeah. All right. So these are three uh, ways of awakening, awakening ourselves. You united together, and you found that there is a universal principle, right? So universal so, precept. Yeah, and uh, it's such a wonderful because for many of I have talked with quite a lot of martial artists and. Uh, for most of us, we have one conclusion, which is uh, all the martial arts, no matter the style, in the end, we have the same universal principle. So, and I uh, thank you for sharing that your own story and uh, understanding about uh, how Japanese Zen, Chinese Chan, and uh, maybe Southeast uh, Asia, the the Nei Guan, the what you said, the, the word, we, in Chinese, we call the inner inspection. What is the word from your, your side? Vipassana. 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 Okay, Vipassana. Okay, cool. And uh, which uh, Buddhism quote you like, uh, you quite enjoy? For me, I like that one. Zhu fa kong xiang. All forms are empty. And what do you like from Diamond Sutra, Jing Gang Jing? So which yes, one do you I, like? I love this. Mm -hmm. This Hui Neng, Hui Neng Sutra, the fifth uh -huh. patriarch of Zen is uh, Kong Bui Shi, Shi Bui Kong. Kong Ji Shi, Kong Ji Shi Sa. I forget how to say it. Kong Ji Shi Sa. You know, because so, Ji Shi Kong. Xin Jing. Xin Jing, yes. Right. Heart Sutra. Right. Okay. This is also one of my favorite sutra mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. this teaching of emptiness and yeah. form is emptiness and emptiness is form and form is not empty and empty is not form so they they yeah. flip it mm -hmm. to break the mind the mm -hmm. mind attaching to the way the reality that we see 
around yeah. us is not the, the true reality. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So this is to cut through and it's, it's very beautiful. And this is, is compare with the Tao mm-hmm. because the Tao, they, they talk about like a way, Wu way mm-hmm. and Wu way to go with the flow and non-action. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's very similar because you must understand this, this form is emptiness mm-hmm. and emptiness is formed to understand way Wu Wei. They mm-hmm, mm-hmm. like very similar teaching. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cool. And I'm amazed by your clearly understanding on uh, Buddhism. And uh, so if I may ask, you also mentioned that the Taoism, Wei Wu Wei. So if we, you can use one word or very short word to, to define what is Buddhism and what is Taoism, or let's say if you prefer only Buddhism, so how you will share with us? Very short word, wow. when I'm just what you know, a, a sentence. Uh huh. If you awakening, you can. yeah, yeah, awakening, awakening. awakening yeah, it's nice. Awakening, awakening of everything, body, man, the spirit. Yeah. Yeah. So Being uh, awake. now if, okay, now if you are the professor and I'm going to give you an essay. So I will say, if I may use one word to deny, to define uh, Buddhism, I will use Kung, Kung? emptiness. Okay. And you mentioned okay. that. Okay, this is uh, Kung Xiang. All forms, all, all dharma in emptiness, and uh, the form is is the emptiness, and the emptiness is the very form, right? And uh, and the Taoism, I will choose as you mentioned, wu, wei wu wei, nothingness, nothingness. So this is a, yeah. a little bit of my understanding on both yeah. Buddhism and Taoism. Okay, so do you? So you are from the United States. Uh, I used to had um, to have a, a crossover journey from Western coast to the south and to the Eastern coast uh, in the United States. Uh, many of the American, you believe in Christianity, right? So do you have a kind, uh, kind of this background religion or you? you you don't really have yeah i'm half italian and half slovakian so both mm-hmm. of those countries are really big catholics catholic. so my okay. my family is a catholic but mm-hmm. my father was actually like kind of an atheist um he was very modern thinking and so he didn't raise he didn't want to raise me with a religion mm-hmm. and he wanted me to choose but yeah. my mother uh, came to thailand when i was a child and brought me and mm-hmm. what happened is I saw the Buddha and the big, gold, beautiful Buddha in the temple. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this is the religion. This guy knows the answers. <laughs> he knows mm-hmm. he knows the truth. Mm-hmm. Um, because I, I did go to some Catholic school as a child, but it didn't like answer any questions for me. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's why I turned to Buddhist. But, yeah, it depends in America. Yeah, a lot on the parents, how they... Mm-hmm direct the kid mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so um you are working quite uh, internationally you have uh, you know seminars all across the world so how you can be so productive i mean also how you can organize uh, all your seminars in all over <laughs> the world if some people who are uh, like uh, <laughs> diving into the same profession like you and they want to develop themselves, develop their philosophy or style, and uh, how you can, how they, how you will, uh, how the suggestion you will uh, share with them. I would say just do what you love, really. Just follow your heart and be authentic, be who you are. Um. I don't ever try to be something else. I just be what I, you know, fully express myself. And this brings me so much love and joy. And I love what I do so much. So, of course, there's there's challenges always in everything. Mm-hmm. Like, like, and this is the, the play of the Tao. We learn how to move through it. And uh, mm-hmm. it tests us. So, 
yeah of course I get tired a lot the traveling it can be exhausting maybe you feel I don't know the same because you travel mm -hmm. a lot too so mm -hmm. we have to take the airplane and it's mm -hmm. like you know mm -hmm. different different climate different weather we have to adjust mm -hmm. so this can be tricky sometimes but mm -hmm. now I'm giving myself more more rest time as mm -hmm. I get older and uh, especially in the winter so this period now is like my break season mm -hmm. and I make sure to nourish so it's mm -hmm. good for everybody to take the winter season to relax to nourish their chi and then in the spring you can start to do your projects mm -hmm. be more active mm -hmm. and and go and then your health your body will balance better mm -hmm. with nature with the seasons mm -hmm. yeah okay so you mentioned that uh, we should uh yeah, we follow our heart, we love what we are doing and totally and completely express who we are, our, our you know, spirituality, our, our techniques. But practically, how you, from the very beginning to de develop until now, you use, for example, some you have some company or you work alone uh i mean to for your project and because it's a lot yeah you need you 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 you, you, you give the seminar for practical training you yuchi and you have your own brand you need to design and also somebody maybe need to make it and also yeah. a lot of negotiation you know in different uh <laughs> place and uh, how practically you you develop it I have a big staff. <laughs> a lot of yep. people work for me mm -hmm. and with me. Uh -huh. I have a partner, a business partner who's amazing. He's a, in the tech. He's a developer. So this is really important because if you're going to do online business, you need to have online a tech, a strong tech team mm -hmm. to support you. Mm -hmm. And I just, the universe blessed me with a partner like this and um, we work really good together. So we are creating the platform and then I have a videographer team with editors. Mm -hmm. So we go and we film. I still am directing as I'm acting as well. I pretty much produce the whole entire show. Mm -hmm. But of course, you have to have people to to manage the cameras, the edits, the all the files. Mm -hmm. um, I have many videographers around the world that I work with, too, mm -hmm. as well as our own staff. And then... The clothing, I actually stopped for the exactly the practical reason is I can't manage it. Um, mm -hmm. It's too much right now, but we we had a factory in Thailand for 30 years. Mm -hmm. And so it would that was pretty easy because I just just told the fact got the fabric and gave it to the mm -hmm. factory. We had the pattern make maker. We had the sewers. Everything was mm -hmm. already structured. Mm -hmm. But even then, you still have to do all of the management work and sure. organization mm -hmm. and develop the program, even the computer program to manage the clothing and the customer base mm -hmm. and marketing. And it's just too much. So now I stopped the clothing. We have the clothes in stock, but I, I maybe one day we'll, I'll get a partner to help. Mm -hmm. If you want to grow big, you need, you need to have partners and a team. Mm -hmm. Like life is about community and working together. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's good to have people who who are on the same vibration as you have the same vision and mm -hmm. you know, their heart is in the work mm -hmm. and this is important. Okay, cool. Sure. And actually the idea you created is what uh, the, we are looking for. Why? Because you see, as you mentioned, especially the female, they would like to look pretty. So when they dress the yoga uniform, you know, it, it clearly show the shape of their body. You know, they can see the processing of themselves as well. It's kind of a pleasure. And uh, most of the, the Kung Fu uniform, for example, like Tai Chi uniform, they are quite loose. And uh, no matter male or woman dress, you know, if you see it from afar, it's the same guys. You know, so this is what we are looking for, actually trying to find a path to show 
the beauty of the body and also keep the space to move. So we are longing for yeah. this for quite a long time. Uh, also now, actually, I'm designing the uniform as well. So we are trying to tighten up the uniform. And this is, and also to, to use, you know, the, the, the Chinese uh, traditional uh, female un, uh, uniform called qi pao, you know, trying oh. to get some yeah. elements from qi pao and united with the, uh, the Kung Fu uniform to look slim and at the same yeah. time keep uh, the space to move. So, but we share the same idea, but you are using a very, uh, you know, unique way. You, I think your, 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 let's say, the upper of your uniform more similar with yoga and the, the, the pants quite uh, nicely, uh, you know, combined, uh, you know, yoga pants, let's say, and also the Kung Fu pants. It's, it, it's a wonderful project. And I hope that uh, people can know it more and uh, to, to and to get this idea. But uh, for me, even after our simple talk today, I get a little bit more idea how we will design our uniform. I mean, for for both sides, for for the practical move and also for beauty in vision. And uh, thank you. It would be uh, really cute if you designed like it's still more of a modern take on it it's mm -hmm. not going to be like the traditional but the chi power chong san the chinese the neck like this with the yeah. buttons here right yeah and but sleeveless because mm -hmm. if there's sleeves you cannot lift the arm mm -hmm. easy mm -hmm. it mm -hmm. blocks the arm yeah so like like my, my top and mm -hmm. then have it go down and then stop like mm -hmm. right above the waistband yeah and so it's look cute like chinese style but mm -hmm good if it's like a stretch material mm -hmm. and then the pan can be silk yeah. or flowing cotton or anything exactly but at least the top is is more um like shape cute mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. make you feel young mm -hmm. like for the for the woman sure yeah. sure all right so in, in the end if you can uh define so what is yuchi and uh and also, what is the uh, the um, how can I say? What is the yuchi and what your life style leading you to? Yuchi, yuchi is is flow, really. That's yuchi. we're just it's mindful. It's mindful movement in mm -hmm. flow. So it's, yuchi um, is meant for movements in flow. Yeah. Okay, cool. And we share the similar flow because my idea for Zhong Jin Dao, my own, let's say, uh, phil philosophy, or, uh, you know, I'm the co founder with all my friends and students who are training with me. So Zhong Jin Dao means when energy flows in balance, the path emerges. This is the Zhong Jin Dao. Mm. So we share the same flow. Okay. And the second is, uh, what your lifestyle leading you to? And for now you are, let's say, li uh, living a very peaceful and calm uh, lifestyle. And you are searching for maybe enlightenment for emotionally or mentally free somehow. So what, what is the, why you choose this or this style choose you? Now we are struggling about depression and uh, the you know many you know, problem in the daily life, so how we yeah. can be healed in in you know in your way to practice yochi. Um, how through yochi, what I teach is how to connect to to heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. Um. And constantly focusing on the central channel, the Zhong Mai. Mm -hmm. And that when we align our energy with heaven and earth, then we become a conduit of energy. And we feel in, in alignment with our true nature, our true self. 
And when we're aligned with our true self, we are in our center and not attached to this I ego, this idea of this small, limited self that can be affected by the world and everything going on. Instead, we can connect to our higher power of understanding and our heart and cultivate compassion. So this path for me has become a path of compassion because I come to understand that through all my experience with energy and chi masters, I experienced so many qigong master and so much chi and feeling the different chi healing and energy transmissions. And then I also experienced like a very high level monks, like compassion monks. And what I understand is that compassion is a much, much higher frequency than chi. <laughs> And compassion. Compassion. Yes. Mm -hmm. I forget this word in Chinese. Uh, mm -hmm. Compassion is tsubei. Tsubei, in yes. Buddhism, it's yes, tsubei. Yes. In common world, I think it's called... Um, hmm. Yeah. It's called uh, tsubei or tsai, let's say. Compassion. Yeah. In Buddhism, mm -hmm. it's tsubei. Yes. Mm-hmm. In, in Pali, in Thailand, it's Karuna, like, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. so, yeah, so this is, for me, this is my path of cultivating compassion and how I teach. Mm -hmm. I teach to become a channel and to, to develop your heart and love, mm -hmm. love for yourself and love for all beings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is flow because when the energy can flow between the heart, the energy has to transform from lower to middle to upper but to get the energy to transform jing chi shan mm -hmm. we must pass through the heart mm -hmm. and you must transform your spirit your heart so we have to to work with this with the emotions mm -hmm. with our feelings yeah mm -hmm. and transform our small self mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's a spiritual practice really what i'm teaching it's it's mm -hmm. a healing practice as well we focus on the elements the organs Mm -hmm. uh, but it is really a spiritual practice. All right, I know thank Marshall you very much. Qigong, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Like you're teaching, I'm you're teaching Tai Chi and martial mm -hmm. arts, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So this is also is interesting because the martial Qigong is cultivating the the Qi and the power for for mm -hmm. fight for mm -hmm. for protect and to make you strong. Mm -hmm. Right, but also it must cultivate this mind as well. Sure, sure. We, let's say just a little share is that what I am trying to reach in for. I'm trying to reach in for let's say the energy maximum flowing. So we can't flow our energy because as you mentioned, the Jing Qi Shen. So um, but I'm trying to extend our limitation, which is if we can to let our energy maximum flow. So day after day, so the level of to flowing it, it we are getting bigger and higher. So it's, it's a way to, let's say, break our limitation by no matter the Qigong in the softness and also in the martial arts, uh, the Wushu in the, in the, the hardness, in the strongness somehow. And uh, but we share the same similar path is we are longing for the to unite our our body, mind, uh, and soul, or you know, and you mentioned the Jing Qi Shen to to express totally who we are in the end. So and the compassion is uh, thank you for your highlighting the compassion part because compassion for us is uh, so. When you have compassion and uh, it will set you free because when you have compassion, so you will in a sort of way take care of your opponent, which means you must be much better than your opponent and then you can take care of it in the, in the fighting or in the, in the conflict. So it is somehow like your inner driving energy to lead you to be better, I mean, in, 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 in practical way and in spiritual way. Yeah, but uh, yeah, in the end, thank you very much. What is your, your seminar for the next station? What's my what? 
what is your seminar? What is your workshop you are giving? Seminar. Yeah, yeah. Yes, um, we have an immersion in Thailand. So I'm in Thailand now. And then we go to the US. We have an immersion in Georgia and then Turkey. I'll be in Turkey and Spain for the summer. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so I'm just going all around mm -hmm. teaching these trainings. We have mm -hmm. uh, Yochi instructor trainings and mm -hmm. work different little retreats. And mm -hmm. then, of course, the online uh, videos are always there in the mm -hmm. video on demand library and okay. YouTube. Cool. All right. Uh, thank you, Marisa, for sharing with us yeah. your amazing story and your opinion on how to develop uh, us to totally uh, express who we are. And uh, for all of you guys who are um, listening up us, uh, I recommend that if you can, you can find Yuchi, uh, Y-O-Q-I, uh, to search out uh, Marisa. And also she's offering online training and uh, uh, seminars uh, in Thailand, uh, United States, and Turkey in the next uh, following months. So welcome to book uh, her uh, workshop. And uh, Marissa, thank you again. How you do like thank in the end, uh, like this, right? Okay, all right. Hi. Okay. <laughs> Sawadika from Thailand. Sawadika, all yeah. right, okay. So Marissa, <laughs> thank you. And uh, hopefully see you uh, somewhere in the future. Okay? Yes, I hope okay. so. Thank ciao, you ciao, so much. Ciao, ciao, Okay. Ciao. <laughs> thank you.